how's it going? Welcome back. Uh, I hope you're all well. Uh, yesterday there was a bit of a strange thing happened. I just decided to get on a motorbike and go and talk shit about, uh, you know, life and bikes and stuff. And that happens now and then. So, you know, for those of you in the guitar helix community, just be aware that every now and then things, I like to keep it spicy. Keep it spicy for you. Uh, so today, um, like the thumbnail will tell you, we're talking about the mutant filter. It's one of them things that kind of goes under a lot of people's radar. Uh, I know some people that use it in the funk fraternity, and some people have put it together for that Bon Jovi song. You know that, you know that one. Um, you can't play any Bon Jovi songs on. Uh, YouTube now because you just get copyright slammed. So this is a patch that I've used live quite a lot. It's basically just two amps and I've put the mutant filter in front of the gainy amp and I've not put it in front of the clean amp because uh, that's just kind of how I like it. But you can play around it or whatever. Normally as well, I'm using a couple of IRs, but I've put stock cabs in there as best as I can just to help you out, because I'm an all-round nice guy. So, uh, there is four snapshots, there's a clean, there's a main kind of rock sound, a lead where the delay comes up a little, and then just a solo boost. So if we start at the top, we are using the US Princess amp, nothing dramatic there, hum and ripple off, up the master all the way up, uh, balanced around with the presence on the trebale a little bit, uh, not a lot of drive. In front of that, there is the 60s bias trem, which I've begun to love again. And then in front of that is the kinky boost. There's no compressor. You could change that for a compressor if you wanted to. Uh, and I've just turned the drive off, put the boost on and the brake on, which then gives us this. <laughs> And again, the video that I did the other day with sticking the uh, the bias trem at the front, it's not overly dramatic. It's just it's just enough to so you know that it's there. And what I've done for this is I've kind of upped the reverbs a little bit just to give it like a real distancey huge hall kind of sounding without using the you know hall reverb weirdly uh so what i'm using for that is using the dual delay not a lot on there to be fair there is the retro reel kind of irons out all of the shit uh and then the search light comes on with the clean amp and then the tile at the end just stays there on them all so our next one our main one uh, it will sound like this, and then we'll put the mutant filter on. So I'm using the Placator Dirty for that as well. Uh, there's two snapshots for that, and the stupid overdrive comes in on the second one, which is the lead, and the delay time comes up a little bit as well on the lead after the main. Uh, so if I put the mutant filter on, like you just heard in the clip in the beginning, that then gives us this kind of vocally sound. <laughs> And then if I go to lead, uh, the mutant filter, obviously it's on a foot switch, so it's not set to any snapshots. So obviously you're gonna have to assign that to your own snapshots if you wanna kind of leave it on all the time, which I think it sounds pretty cool. On the lead setting, what happens then is, is the overdrive comes on and the delay time comes up a little bit as well. And we'll, uh, we'll put that mutant filter back on and show you what that sounds like all together in a tonal cake. Yeah. <laughs> 
So it's I I like it. It's one of them things that I was kind of looking for something else the other day. I was doing something for somebody, and I was just like, I just haven't dived into that mutant filter a lot. So that was the day. Uh, what happens in the main and the lead as well is that the search lights goes off because I just used that for the clean amp, and then instead the glitch comes on, which is kind of standard settings for me. Most of my patches will have the dual reverb and the glitz combined together, but I did i think turn it down ever so slightly just so it you know wasn't getting in the way of what was going on standard thing with the retro reel as well put that in there just to clean up the shit uh which it really helps i think just kind of smooths things out a little bit i think and then as always just the tile on the end and that that is it that's just the layout for this there's no wah there's no volume pedal um the one after the lead is just called boost and it just gives a, a little bit of a lead uh boost on the amp the channel volume comes up to eight and that is it that that is your patch uh so i'll quickly run through all three of these snapshots and then you can run along and download it dive bomb wednesday all right as always i appreciate you being here thanks for watching uh, this patch is completely free it's on custom tone all i ask in return is just leave a nice comment maybe like the video maybe share the video and if you subscribe that's even better all right guys thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one Hello.